Hello and welcome back to Matrix Go. Today in this video we would like to talk about the battery render and how to render matrix files. The file that we have here is a matrix file. So we know that because if I try to just add any of these settings to these stones, nothing is happening. As you can see on the command line, it's still asking me for any gem or closed planner, planner curve. So these are matrix stones. Of course, that we have the option legacy import that matrix will already recognize that there is matrix stones here. So if I click on the matrix gem, I would be able to convert all these gems from this matrix file. But today we don't need that. And the reason why is because the byte render works with the layers. All right. So where we place these different parts on what layers we place these different parts is what will take more uh, importance when it's time to do the byte render. So what I will do, I will get this uh, rail and I will put it into this layer, in the second metal layers, all right? So now we have these layers with different metals. The stones are already in different layers. So we have the one and we have the three. So everything is good. And what I will do is I will do a full save, all right? So I will save this in this uh, project folder. The reason why I'm doing that is because now when I go to the render and I start to put all the settings from the for the batch render, when I choose the models, what I am opening is straight away the project that I have opened in my matrix hole. All right. So as you can see, I am in the project 002 and this is uh, where the batch render is driving me. So I can choose the full save tree, that is actually this one. But in case that you want to choose any other file, you can navigate through the Windows folders and just import any file that you are interested in to render. So now I open this file. The styles, you can choose any that you want. So here, if there is any style that you have uh, done by yourself, you can apply it and all the different styles that we have already in the render studio, you can find them also in the first tab models. Here we, today we'll be working on one, but if you want to uh, get more models, you can add as many as you want. You just need to click on add and you can keep adding more models. Layers, this is where we will apply all the metals. So just have a look to the string that we have here and let's add the layers for the, the stones and the metal that we have. So we were talking about the metal one, metal two, and gem one and gem three. Then the next step is to start to apply materials to these different layers. For the metal one, that will be the one at the outside part, I will get white gold and also I will get, I will just, yeah, I will keep it like this, just in white. And in the metal too, what I will do, I will go for rose gold. I will go for white gold and I will go for yellow gold. Then as you can see here in the total render count, it's putting together all these different combinations and it's telling me how many renders I, will, I am gonna get combining all these different materials. On the gem one, that is this one here, I will apply the Alexandrite and the Amethyst. So as you can see now the renders keep rising and keep scrolling. So I'm trying to put a bit of color here. Emerald will be also good. All right, so, so far, we are good with that. And on this side, I won't always just say diamonds. So I have diamonds. So now combining all these different metals and stones, we are gonna get nine renders. And now it's time just to, to get the views that we like to, to render. So the way to do that is, as you can see now, we are in the perspective. So what I will do if I am happy with this perspective is I will just go to view and select the perspective. 
Now if I wanna have this view, again, I click on perspective, and now I'm getting the view that I have in this tab. Maybe I wanna have one from this side. I will do the same process, perspective. And I think, and this one, so we have different views. And again, perspective. As you can see now, the total render count uh, it's 36 renders. So once I launch this byte render, I will get 36 uh, different uh, pictures from all these combinations. You can also set up the resolution and the passes. So as you know, as more passes you add here, better quality you will get. Now what I will do just to show you is put very, very few quality and we will start to the render. It's telling me that uh, white render uh, job with this name already exists, so you can add a new one. So I can go and say, look, you see now uh, it's not important if uh, the model goes away because we already have all the information here. So I will just call it um, video patch render. You can save it. The good thing about saving it, you see, now I save it, is that you can load it at any given time. So now if I go to load, these are all the different uh, byte renders that I have saved. If I load any of those, what I will get is all the settings that I have here. This is very, very good because if you wanna use always the same uh, views for your renders, you can save it and then any time that you load it, you will get always the same perspective. So you can you can keep the same look for all your renders. All right, let's start the render batch. And now you will see. And now you will see the first renders. Just have it in the other screen. Let me show it to you. So we already have the first one, now we have the second one. So in this one we are changing the stones that are the gem one. So we start with a Langsendrite, then we start, uh, we get going, going with a purple one, then we choose the green. And now what we will be doing is changing the metal number two, that is the one that we have in the middle. So now we are doing the same for the three stone colors and changing the metal in the middle. All right, so now we are with the white and the next one will be the yellow. So now you will see that the next one Not yet. So now we have the white one because we were doing the green stone and now we have the yellow. So we start with the yellow with the Alexandrite, the purple one, I can't remember what was this one, and the emerald. All right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to pause the video here. So once all the renders are do done, I will show you what result we got. All right, so the batch render has finished. Let me just bring the folder where I have saved all the different renders. So you, as you know, you can uh, find them in the documents, matrix call, and under the render folder, we have the batch jobs. And we save it under the name video batch render. So if I double click here, we get all the renders. What I have done, I have saved it in a better resolution than what I was showing you in the video. So now you can see what you can get. And look, this is what you get. So same stones with different views. Then we change the stones. And again, the four views that we have chosen with the emeralds. And then once we have done the four for the emeralds, we go with the other combinations that we have been working on. 
and then with a yellow bar in the middle. So it's super convenient. This is a tool that uh, will be very, very used for many customers. And as I said, either if you have matrix files or matrix vault files, you can bring them in and you can start to use the byte render to, to get very nice pictures from all your designs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And now you can start to do a lot of renders with this Matrix Go uh, new tool. Thanks for watching.